Nicaragua, Nicaragua. This is the biggest uprising in over 40 years since the Sandinista Revolution. And the people here are fed up with the leadership of Daniel Ortega, who they said went from a revolutionary to a dictator. There's been mounting frustration with President Daniel Ortega, who in 2014 changed the Constitution to do away with term limits, securing his hold on power. On April 18th, his government announced a tax increase and cuts to Social Security benefits. The people responded with protests. Ortega deployed police and paramilitary forces to crack down on the protesters. Three people were killed. Young people across the country inspired tens of thousands to take to the streets, demanding Ortega's removal. They were met by more violence. According to the Nicaraguan Pro-Human Rights Association, in the first four months of the uprising, almost 500 people have been killed. Are you saying that you saying the police is shooting at you? Yeah. It seemed like a sniper's behind this wall. Some protesters went in. There was also another kid who was shot, and they were taken away by motorcycles. In the 1970s, the same Daniel Ortega was a young socialist rebel and helped lead the Sandinista revolution, which toppled then-U.S.-backed dictator Anastasia Somoza. But over the years, Ortega bought up media channels, took over all branches of the government, and even installed his wife as vice president. And as this once revolutionary leader moves closer to autocratic rule, a new generation of young revolutionaries are aiming to remove Ortega from power. We went to the National Autonomous University of Nicaragua, where the students have taken over the campus in protest. We're right now in the University of Una. The reason we're wearing bulletproof vests is that last night there were snipers that killed two people, and it actually looks a lot more like a military base. The gate's completely barricaded. They've put out cobblestone walls that they've created, and this is the entry point where the paramilitary were shooting at people. One of the students gave us a tour of the occupied campus. What, what is this area we're at right now? Some of these students sleep right there, like in the rooms. They cook outside and they basically live here. I work Monday through Friday and I'll, after And you I... do revolution Friday through Sunday? Yes. You know like the term weekend warrior? Like this is actually the real weekend warrior. <laughs> Luego para allá es lo que es el Arlencio, donde están esas casitas, el cual estamos utilizando para poder defender la universidad. Pues estas son nuestras trincheras, barricadas, son adoquines, ¿verdad? Que son, fueron de esta, arrancadas desde de la carretera para poder defendernos de la, contra la barra. Was there, was there shooting here yesterday? Sí, realmente en esa zona. Esta es la que está atrás, es la rotonda donde fue la zona del centro de ataque hasta las 7 y media de la mañana del día de hoy. Y ahí no creo que haya peligro. We just heard gunshots. The paramilitary is actually shooting into the university. They don't even have guns here. They have homemade mortars. And most of these guys are, they couldn't be more than 17 or 18 years old. See these guys are running out. There's sniper fire in the distance. This is a homemade militia fighting the paramilitary. We're in a pretty open, exposed area right now, and the military has been shooting at these guys. All right. 
This is kind of a shit show. Okay. Over there, there's some bishops there. That's a good sign because there's a symbol of peace in the middle of the war zone. So normally during university, all these things, which are bars, would be full of students, drinking, having fun. And now the whole thing is shut down because they're in the middle of a battle with the government. This is like a shotgun, but handmade, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, but this, this is like a, a toy. They are professionals. And this is bad for us because we are just uh, college students. What were you studying in university? Uh, tourism. Tourism? Yeah. Two of the students came with a truck last night. They brought it down here to attack the paramilitary, but the paramilitary came, they grabbed them, took them out of their truck, and shot them over here. The woman behind me, her son, who's 17, was kidnapped by the government when paramilitary officers came while they were watching a movie on a laptop and kidnapped her son. Three months ago, did you think that something like this could happen here in Nicaragua? Jamás lo pensé. Jamás lo pensé. Porque hasta yo le di mi voto a este desgraciado. We're standing outside El Chipote prison, and all around me are the family members of people who've been detained for political action. Since the government never gives any information about when people are released, they've been coming here every day, just waiting. Mi hijo fue detenido arbitrariamente el día martes. Eh, protestar pacíficamente, como lo ha hecho miles de nicaragüenses. Ellos son reos políticos. Ellos han estado levantando su voz y por eso están hoy aquí. No puedo decir que fueron detenidos, fueron secuestrados. Ellos, como andan en cacería de todos los muchachos que han estado en las universidades. Pero yo pido justicia porque esto es, esto no es normal. Despite the detainments and killings in the stronghold of Monimbo, the protesters continue the fight, defending their barricades from police and paramilitary attacks. We're walking towards Monimbo, which is the heart of the resistance. And all around us, they've ripped the streets up to protect themselves from the police. Monimbo is a stronghold of the revolution, just as it was 40 years ago for the Sandinista revolution. And you can see this statue over here commemorates the Sandinista victory over the dictator Somoza. Lo que esto significa, verdad, es la revolución, la revolución que se levantó en aquel tiempo y ahora nosotros hacemos lo mismo. ¿Por qué? Porque ya la dictadura no puede existir en este país. So this is one of those mortars that announces uh, people coming. They make it out of fences, and almost everybody seems to be making one of these. This is what they're shooting at the mortar. At the bottom, there's gunpowder, and the rest is filled with sand and gunpowder. And they light the fuse, they launch in the air. That just shot out some sand and some rocks, but none of these toys are going to do anything against the police, the military, or the par paramilitary. Pero ya mirando que había pasado las cosas, salí porque me pegó el Franco. De mayo para acá, solo bala, solo bala, solo bala, ya no hay gas nada. Solo bala, 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 bala. Y los otros con los morteros caseros que decían. Eso ellos por eso lo, aquí lo ganaron, pues, mordicho. And in fact, he was right. Days after our visit, police and paramilitary stormed Manimbo, killing at least 10 people in the operation and at least two protesters were killed when the paramilitary raided Unan University, taking the school back from the students. Nicaragua, no, no deje morir en vano. No, no deje morir en vano. With the crackdown escalating, an unprecedented number of Nicaraguans are fleeing the country. 
setting the stage for an immigration crisis. We're setting outside the immigration office. As you can see, there are hundreds of people here waiting online. All of these people are getting new passports in anticipation that they may have to leave the country. Nosotros aquí hacemos llenar el formulario, todo tipo de información de hacia migración, solamente el trámite migratorio de menores de edad. Solamente se pone lleno migración en noviembre, diciembre, pero no como hoy. Estoy tramitando el pasaporte de mi hijo menor. Estoy tramitando visa de salida para mi hija. How have you been personally affected by what's gone on in the country in the last couple months? Estamos Primeramente, psicológicamente, físicamente también, por los disparos que se escuchan constantemente por la noche, que esto ha sido un caos verdaderamente y no podemos seguir en esta situación y por eso nos vamos. Protest leaders have been forced into hiding. 20-year-old Lester Alaman runs a social media campaign coordinating student protests across five universities from a secret location. Where are we right now and why are we here? una casa de seguridad de que mi cabeza tiene un precio para el gobierno de Nicaragua. What is the biggest sacrifice that you're making right now? Es no estar con mi mamá ni mi papá. Eso es lo más difícil. Y yo le dije a mi mamá, hoy ya no regreso porque ustedes están corriendo peligro. Le corresponde a toda mi generación luchar por la libertad de este país. En toda la historia de Nicaragua, Quienes han despertado son los jóvenes. Nicaragua ya tiene experiencia. No es necesario que proclamemos, levanten barricada. Ya la gente lo tiene aquí. Y eso se le ha olvidado a Ortega. Porque los tranques, las barricadas, las zanjas, el uso de morteros, los paros nacionales, las marchas, eso ya se hizo. Él lo sabe. Él lo lideró. Por eso es su mayor dolor. 